Hello and welcome. This is Shelia from ShaliaStevens.com and today I'm speaking with a very dear client of mine, Hanna Brota. She is Norwegian living in Sweden, but Hanna, let me let you say more about that. Can you tell our listeners um, what your business is, who you work with, what you help them to do? I am a graphic designer and a brand strategist and as you said I'm Norwegian and I have been living in Sweden for the last three years and um, I actually I help my clients to make um, their business look as good as they know themselves that it is so yeah. um, yes that's what I do my my expertise is called visual branding Definitely. And, and Hanna, you did my visual branding before you were a client of mine. I was a customer of yours. Yes. And what Hanna always likes to say is, you know, when you, when you work with me, you come out like so many inches taller, right? So many heads taller, like you've got on high heel shoes. That's right. That's <laughs> and, right. And that is so true because, you know, you, you just feel so much more proud of, of your look and it's so much more professional. So, yes. yeah, so that's what Hanna does. And Hanna, let's talk about your your business and your situation before you started coaching with me. So what would you say was your situation before you started? <laughs> uh, we started in February this year and uh, when we did that I was really confused. I, I had uh, actually uh, lost my footing in a way and um, uh, as you know, when you, you don't know what to, who to listen to, you listen to all kinds of different experts on business and, and entrepreneurship and marketing. And it all became a very, you know, uh, kind of bits and pieces uh, affair. Um, and I didn't have anyone to tell me, to teach me about a holistic approach to anything. And so it was really all over the place. And um, I was very doubtful if I was doing any right things at all <laughs> and in fact I was doing a lot of wrong things uh, or at least I was doing things in a very wrong way so that's what was my situation back in February January February mm -hmm. I was yeah. very confused yeah and so what like what was it what was that confusion doing with you like what was it creating for you in your life and your business that confusion uh, it was like I was in a dark room, in a dark house, yeah. and uh, when you are in a dark house, you are not uh, able to see what uh, surrounds you, so you are actually keeping quite still, because if you take one step to the left, there might be a hole in the wall, in, in the floor, <laughs> sorry, and <laughs> you will just drop down one, uh, one floor, and uh, actually I was, I think the word is, immobilized Immob yeah. I was I was out of I wasn't able to do anything because I I doubted it if it was actually good for my business at all so yeah. I was stuck yeah stuck that stuck state and I think I think a lot of people listening can identify with that stuck state it's something that all of us go through as entrepreneurs at some state in our business right yes. okay so what were your expectations going into the coaching? Like what, what did you uh, think was going to happen? What, what did you hope was going to happen? Uh, oh, they were huge. They were enormous. <laughs> <laughs> big, no, big, big expectations. No, they, they were uh, quite modest, in fact, uh, because I was uh, so desperate that I was really just uh, uh, hoping to get some help. So uh, uh, in fact, I think I have learned so much that I didn't expect to learn and I have learned it in a very different way so I have been surprised surprised <laughs> yes. even if I I knew you were good at what you did but I didn't know um, how this was going to be for me so uh, I was very open when we started and it has turned out very very well so yes <laughs> yes, yes, yes yes so yeah, so let's, we're going to talk about those results in a minute, but before we do that, the, my next question is, so you said, you know, you, you kind of knew um, that I was kind of good at what I do, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so where, why did you choose to work with me? What, what was the, the, the deciding factor for you to just take that leap and go ahead and say yes to working together? Um, we had uh, known each other for some time. Uh, we met in Stockholm in 2012, I think that yeah. was. 
and we have been together on the internet at the diverse, in diverse situations since that and of course I did your visual branding back in 2013 and so I really uh, got kind of into your materials. I knew what uh, your core values uh, were and that you had a very good system uh, on, uh, on your offerings. And so uh, also I knew you to be a very loving person. So I guess that's what that was uh, yeah. the main reason. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that's so funny too, because that's that's like also one of the main reasons that I was drawn to you as a client, because you just got such a big heart, right? And we <laughs> and we like that about each other, you know, because yeah. it just makes working so much more enjoyable together, right? Yes, yes absolutely. Mm. So. So tell me about some of the results that you've gotten. So you said your expectations weren't that high starting out because you were just, well, when you're, when you're coming from a dark place and a place of confusions, we kind of lose a bit of hope a lot of the times. And it has, uh, yes, yes. right? <laughs> so I don't even see it as a reflection of myself that you said the expectations were low because we just have low expectations of, or hope of getting out of that dark space, right? Yes, yes. So tell me about what happened afterwards. What were the results that you got out of the coaching? Uh, I said uh, before that I was in a very dark house yeah. and uh, if you can see yourself and me going around in this house and turning on one light bulb after another and then the light comes on in the room and you're, suddenly you are able to see what surrounds you, if it's good, if it's bad, what you have to do with it, you, you get to see all your, you know, the, the old garbage that surrounds you. And um, after that, I think that um, what I feel that we have done together is that we have raised um, a ladder to the wall and uh, you have pointed out the whys and hows and uh, what's of the steps on this ladder. So even if I haven't climbed the whole ladder now, at the moment, I know um, the steps are there, and the and the ladder is resting very firmly against the wall. So it's up to me to just uh, start climbing, yeah. and uh, that feels great, amazing. Yeah, amazing. That's a <laughs> lot coming from a Norwegian person to say amazing. <laughs> no, it is amazing. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we talked about that yesterday because yesterday we had our celebration call, which is something that I do with clients at the end of six months, right? And you were like saying the overall theme for you was this whole this whole sense of enlightenment right like like yeah. that that light turning on and seeing suddenly how the business works how the marketing works having the yeah. system in place and your metaphor for the system is the ladder that that you're going up right yeah. and what you also told me yesterday was um, and it's been really good because in the last 6 months you started to work with more people who are in the category of your ideal client yes. and you told yes. me you told me what that meant to you so so maybe you can tell the listeners like what that's been for like for you to work with you know more people in your ideal target client yes. range yes uh, we have defined my ideal type uh, ideal client and uh, and I have been able to package up my competence uh, for this person in a very uh, concrete way we have uh, I have done three different products or packages uh, and I know that they are uh, what my ideal clients need yeah. and uh, so um, uh, when I can say to people that ask me what I do and uh, how well they can work with me and I say to them uh, you can go to my website and look at my packages it's all there and that's an amazing thing to be able to say that because uh, before uh, things were just uh, swimming around and I didn't have this system in place so that's that's great for me I feel very well equipped to meet my new ideal clients going on from here so that's perfect <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And yesterday you talked about a little like, you know, going to your next speech that you were holding and being really more clear about your expertise and saying like, yep. I have way more clarity around talking about what I do, who I do it for. You told me about working with, um, you know, an ideal client. You felt like you guys were on a great wavelength and you were able to get really deep with her and her branding, getting to the core of her values and what she wanted to bring into the marketplace and, and working with her with a really great chemistry, you know, yep. just, just those things come up and, and I, I think that's so awesome what do you what do you think is the 
the biggest change that's happened for you, like that you've experienced over the last six months? Um, the absolute biggest change has taken place within myself because it's a mindset uh, thing. And um, I am able now to, uh, to believe in myself because I feel very, uh, very clear that you believe in me in a, a realistic way. Uh, even if you know my <laughs> less <laughs> my less uh, good sides, and um, so when you do that, I am also able to believe in myself, and that is the the mindset is everything uh, going forward. Because uh, if you don't believe that you can do what you do, then you have absolutely no chance. Uh, you have to convince yourself yeah. in the first place, and you have helped me very much. Uh, convincing this very stubborn person that is myself <laughs> that uh, that I really have something um, some expertise that I can do uh, that people need from me so that's great mm? yeah yeah and thank that, you <laughs> you're, you're welcome and thank you for saying that and you know that confidence that that you that I have or that belief in yourself is everything like that that confidence is the basis for everything we do if we don't feel confident we won't go speak if we don't feel confident we won't go networking if we don't feel confident we won't put our newsletter out there regularly we won't be able to hold a, a you know a, a get acquainted call and all those kinds of things so I think that's a huge change uh, for the last six months and we're, we're coming to the end of our conversation, and what I always like to ask at the end is, is there may be some people out there who are watching this right now who are thinking of working with me on a group program, in one-to-one -one coaching, whatever context. What would you say to them um, who, if they're thinking about it? Do it. <laughs> Don't hesitate. Uh, start right away because... Um, so much uh, if you wait uh, so much will be lost while you're waiting so uh, just go ahead and do it now <laughs> I love that. okay do it now we'll, yeah. end, we'll end on that word those words thank mm -hmm. you so much to, um, for talking to us today Hannah and good luck with your next steps anybody who needs um, branding for their business I highly recommend Hannah and you can find her at Hannah's ED dot yeah. com yeah. and um yeah we'll talk again soon see you online thank you bye 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 Hannah, bye <laughs>